Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with women's basketball. Joined by head coach Kendra Fossett. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me again. Congratulations on uh, making a GLIAC tournament appearance uh, here this coming week as uh, you got a big win over Purdue Northwest last week and obviously a, a tough game against Grand Valley State uh, that went uh, down to the fourth quarter. Yeah, thanks. I mean, it's um, it's a great step for our program. I'm, I couldn't be more proud for of, of our kids and and, uh, and our players and what they've done. and. Um, you know, we, we took a quick moment on Friday to sort of look back, especially with, with that senior group to, um, you know, just where we started and where we are now. And um, while we're not done taking those taking steps, certainly we have a lot of work to do. Um, this is a pretty big one. As we get to some of the highlights, we'll start with uh, Thursday's game against Purdue Northwest. And you knew coming in, if uh, you won that game, you were going to be in the conference tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, did that put some extra pressure on the kids coming into that game? Yeah, our players have no idea. Um, uh, they, they knew. Um, we didn't talk about it much. We, you know, we always are just talking about, hey, let's just get better. I may or may not have been having an anxiety <laughs> attack. Um, but, you know, like our players love to play. They love to play with each other. The perspective that they keep, I mean, they're just so grounded. Like, we're getting ready to go to the conference tournament and they're worried about class on Wednesday morning. I'm like, oh, ladies, man, you are awesome. We are something else. So, you know, we, we were just excited to play and be home. Um, and, and have an opportunity to, to make the conference tournament. We were going to enjoy every minute that we could. Obviously, Shania Huggins right there with the basket, a freshman that's been playing well for you. Yeah, you know, we made a little change in the starting lineup, and, um, and, and Shy has just ran with that. She's just done a really good job. Our pace is a little bit different. It helps our rotations. It helps us um, be able to press a little bit more. Um, and, and it's really, you know, it's been really good for us. Um, as a group and, and probably most importantly, you know, one of our captains, point guard, junior captain Lexi Bush and, and Riley Blair, one of our sophomores, came out of the starting lineup and, you know, just didn't bat an eye because um, no one on this team cares who gets the credit and we just we just want to make each other better and make our, our team better and it is about our program and um, so, you know, it says a lot about Shine Adrian, but it also says a lot about, about those two young ladies as well. After a close first quarter, you really uh, took control of the game in the second quarter, and then here able to extend the lead in the third quarter of that play. Yeah, I, I thought I thought we just dialed up the defensive intensity, um, and we got a lot of steals, layups. We got a lot of offensive rebounds. I mean, you could see you know Lily was a monster on the boards. Um, you know, I thought Bray and Benner played really really well. She was composed. Um, you know, she just gets better every day, and um, you know, unfortunately. She, for her, she's playing in front of, you know, an all three-time all-conference player. Um, but every day she gets better, and, and the sky's the limit for that young lady. 83-47, the final score, and uh, obviously that gets you into the conference tournament. Takes maybe a little pressure off, but a big game on Saturday, uh, a rivalry game, senior day, and a lot going on in conjunction with Saturday's game. Yeah, a lot going on. Um, you know, we had a, a little bit of a celebration on Friday. Like, let's just take a moment, because I'm not a big celebrate kind of person like I'm just we're on to the next one right and and sometimes you know when we move from game to game or even weekend to weekend we're like that's that's there like next um, whether it was a big win or a tough lot what doesn't matter like on to the next one and um, and our, our our group appreciated um, that we actually talked about what that meant for our program and and gave props not only to those kids that are in our program right now but those who have come before us as well Obviously a hard-fought game uh, here and uh, really played a, a strong game against Grand Valley State on Saturday. Yeah, I thought we started the game really well. Um, it was one of those nights, uh, you know, a senior night, and I think every time Rach touched it, the ball somehow got in the basket. Um, that was a special night, I think. You know, Leah was composed. Her defense was phenomenal. Um, I thought we did a really, really good job on both ends of the floor, probably one of the better halves that we've played, um, certainly and um, was, was really proud of our composure. This is the first time we've, because it is a rivalry game, this is the first time for our group that we have played in a rivalry game with this amount of composure. And um, we, we, that's what we talked about going into that game. And you know, this, this game right here, I think just really illustrates that we are still getting better every game. We are still growing as a group and we are not ready to be done. And, um, you know, that's one of the things about senior day that was awesome is that it wasn't our last game. Obviously, I uh, hear uh, battling Grand Valley State and uh, 
one point game at halftime. It was two at the end of the third quarter. What was yeah. some of the keys maybe in the fourth quarter? Yeah, the fourth quarter, uh, the, the zone. We, we really struggled to score against the zone, and their length gives us gives us trouble. And we were able to bring their length away from the rim with Rachel shooting the ball the way she was, um, and we couldn't do that versus the zone. And so we really struggled. I mean, we got a couple really good paint touches. I mean, we're still trying to get her the ball. Um, we got a couple really good paint touches. Um, we just we couldn't finish it. I thought we had, a, you know, at the beginning of the fourth quarter, I thought we, as we were making a run, uh, I think they were up five, and we had two really good defensive possessions in a row that I thought were awesome that ended up in fouls and put them at the line and, um, you know, a couple bounces the other way. And, and um, but overall, I was, I was really happy with the way we, with, with the way we played and, you know, we're, 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 we're ready for postseason. Obviously it was senior day, Rachel McInerney, uh, Hannah Evo, along with Leah Humes and three seniors that met a great deal to your program. Yeah. I knew you were going to ask me about that and I'm going to try not to talk. I've just been a, an emotional wreck all, all weekend. Um, and you know what these young women have, not only like what they meant for our program, but what the way that they have grown, um, you know, they have helped me grow as a coach. Um, you know, Hannah Evo is probably one of the most mature young women that I have ever been around. She is a great leader. She is really solid in who she is and allows that. To, to guide her decisions with her teammates. With, I mean, she's in a tough spot. She's, uh, she's a student assistant on her staff. She's still in the locker room. She's, and, and she just, she, she has the best interests of our program in mind all the time. And uh, I can't thank her enough for that. Um, and then Leah Humes, I mean, when Leah first came to us, um, she had no idea what it took to be successful at this level. Um, she was pretty inconsistent. Um, I don't know that she had ever applied herself in the classroom and probably this is what I'll get choked up the most about is like her growth as a person, whew, unbelievable. Like the way she has, she is so much more comfortable who she is. She's not afraid to dive in and try. I mean, she's doing great in the classroom. Um, she's con been consistent for us um, and we didn't know if we were going to be able to count on her and she, she's proved that we can. Um, and then Rachel, you know, her accolades on the floor, they speak for themselves. She's an unbelievable player. Um, she has made herself into an unbelievable player. She never played her freshman year. She came in her sophomore year, a coaching change. And um, the grit and determination and belief and vision that she has had um, has gotten us to where we are now and, and helped us take so many steps forward and build our culture and lay the foundation. and. I mean, she, she just is a phenomenal young lady. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck, obviously, to the Bulldogs this uh, coming week uh, in the Gleak Tournament against Michigan Tech. And I know it could be a hard matchup uh, against Michigan Tech on the road. Yeah, no question. Tough place to play. I mean, they're a really good program. They're a storied program, um, you know, raked in the country and um, all that good stuff. And, and you know, we're going to see how much better we get and how much better we've gotten. And we're going to go out and have a, have, have a good time and enjoy playing with each other and competing at a high level. Well, Coach, best of luck. Thanks. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Follow all the action at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.